Joseph, you know, I was thinking about this um, before I saw your headlines uh, as I watched the 10-year yield rise. I thought, wow, if anybody wants to get on these uh, rates, maybe they want to do it soon before we see rates rise uh, around the world. Is that your concern? Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm concerned about two things. One is that uh, the current situation is uh, still very unpredictable. I mean, we, we just simply don't know how the pandemic is going to end and what it's going to really mean uh, to the economy and uh, to travelers, people who want to wanna fly around. And secondly, obviously, we don't know what's exactly going to happen to the financial market. I mean, we're seeing that the, uh, um, uh, the interest rate is very low at the moment, and uh, you know we should be taking advantage of that. I mean, probably there is more downside risk than upside potential going forward. And given the uncertainties, we, we felt that it would be the right insurance policy for the company. How concerned are you? You know, we're starting to hear um, Merkel talk about extending the lockdown, or at least reports that she's talking about extending the lockdown another eight to 10 weeks from the end of January. I mean, it's just, it's almost unfathomable that we could have the economy locked down this long, but it seems like it may be a fact we have to live with. How difficult will that be for an airline like yours? I mean, certainly this is almost like mind-boggling. I mean, uh, who would have thought this could happen um, when, it, when it broke out in, in March last year? Uh, I, I think everyone uh, with reasonable mind uh, believed that by this time it would be, it would be over, and uh, it is not over yet. And, uh, and even I would say that uh, the, the outcomes are still very unpredictable in terms of timing and, in, and, and how we're going to get settled on, on this. Well, we are ready for any, any scenario. I mean, this is, this is the reason why we raised this 500 million euros uh, just to make sure that even if the worst case scenario happens and, and 2021 is not going to be any better than, uh, than 2020, uh, we are still um, a, a, a good business. We remain intact and we would be ready for the future when actually the business starts recovering. How much have you had to cut your capacity in response? How, how badly have you seen sales affected? This is a roller coaster experience. Uh, last April, we only operated 3% of our capacity. In August, when the markets became uh, quite unrestricted, we were able to uh, push back capacity to 81% uh, level. Today, we are operating around 20% uh, of our capacity. So we are totally subject to the, uh, to the pandemic measures uh, imposed by governments. Obviously, they fundamentally affect uh, consumer demand, and we are just adjusting capacity accordingly. I want to ask you about um, Wizz Air Dubai, or Wizz Air Abu Dhabi, I'm sorry. You've begun uh, flights at Wizz Air Abu Dhabi today. How big could that business become? Is there enough demand in the region to support a low-cost carrier? Oh, we, are, we, are, we are very excited about uh, the, uh, the operation of Visa Abu Dhabi. Um, uh, it, it has been a well-prepared uh, and better aligned initiative together with the uh, Abu Dhabi government. Uh, we are investing for the long run here. Uh, we're seeing that uh, this market has, uh, has a tremendous uh, prospect in the, uh, in, in the future. I mean, if you, just take, if you just take the sheer fact that uh, if you are in Abu Dhabi, you look around in the world and within a seven-hour cycle, um, a radius, uh, you're going to capture 5 billion uh, people. So we're seeing that Abu Dhabi represents a tremendous growth opportunity for this, and this is what we are starting um, um, uh, operating against. But tough competition, right? I mean, I used to cover the American carriers, and they were constantly complaining about the state support um, uh, of their Middle Eastern competition. How do you deal with th that kind of behemoth? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, we are, we are a tough competitor as well, and, uh, and we like competition. Competition offers choices to, uh, uh, to the consumers, and I think uh, competition makes you a, a better business. Um, uh, well, we are part of the Abu Dhabi system now. I mean, we are Abu Dhabi's national carrier, which, of course, we are very proud of. Uh, and we think that we're going to have level playing field. And I also think that the world is changing in that part of the world as well. I mean, there is a lot more uh, expectations for uh, running businesses like airlines on an economic rational basis. Let me finally ask you if um, you've had to make any changes due to Brexit, uh, Joseph. There were so many problems forecast, and so far, so good, right? How has it been for Wizz Air? You know, from a market standpoint, Brexit has been a very smooth uh, transition for uh, for Vizair. Uh, we've been able to operate every single flight uh, uh, we were we were planning on. 
So I don't think there is any issue with, uh, with that regard. Um, as we are a London-listed uh, company, uh, we are affected by ownership and control matters falling out of Brexit. Uh, uh, we did what we had to do. Uh, we had to uh, uh, disenfranchise um, uh, some of the shares which uh, no longer qualify uh, for, um, uh, from a nationality perspective. Uh, but, uh, but that was also very smooth. I mean, you can, you can see our share price development. It was not uh, fundamentally affected by that. So we think uh, Brexit has been um, as good as it could have been.